We are outside of the home of Ian Bonick, and earlier today when I was speaking with neighbors, they were explaining to me that they saw Katie's car here in this driveway outside of this gate that Friday, September 30th. Neighbors say that she came to collect items and never left. I just remember coming out on the, the, the back porch, and I remember looking at my husband and saying, you know, who... Who would who would be burning anything right now? It's how a friend and next door neighbor of 39 year old Katie Bonick recalls the night that's believed to be the night Katie was killed and not even realizing until later that what I could have been smelling. According to police reports and court documents, investigators say they found the charred remains of Katie Bonick, a mother of two at this home, and they believed her husband Ian was the one who killed her with her body discovered days after she was reported missing. It's a heinous crime. Heinous because investigators say they found bone fragments at this home. And investigators say Ian Bonick is the center of it all, and he could face the death penalty. In 2021, prosecutors charged him with domestic battery by strangulation. And a few months before Katie's death, there was a domestic violence case listed between the two in Lee County. I know she tried her best to stay in her marriage while still trying to wrap her mind on what happened to her friend who lived right next door. She tells us more about her. That's the way she introduced herself is she brought over an apple pie and um, that's who Katie was and she was a generous spirit and she was a good mama. She loved her children fiercely. The neighbors also did tell me that the two children are staying with family and of course they are devastated of the loss of their mother. As for Ian Bonnick, he's expected to have another motion hearing on May 10th. Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.